In these problems, we are multiplying with exponents. And when you have the same bases, so for example, x to the fifth and x to the negative eighth, they're, the bases are both x for those. When you have the same bases, you just add the exponents when you're doing multiplication. The only tricky part here is that we have some negative exponents, but that shouldn't be too hard. It just means we need to add some negative numbers. So x to the fifth times x to the eighth would be x to the five plus a negative eight power. Well, five plus a negative eight is the same as five minus eight, and that's gonna be a negative three. The only problem here is that it says write your answer with a positive exponent only. So how do we turn this x to the negative three into a positive exponent? Well, any negative exponent is one over the positive exponent. So x to the negative third is one over x to the positive three power. And that is our answer for that one. The only trick about this one down here is we've got, well, we've got y squared times y minus fifth, uh, y to the minus fifth times y. You can't forget about this y here. It's got an exponent even though it's not written here. We typically don't write the exponent of one. Anything to the first power is itself. But when you're uh, multiplying here, we need to remember that one is there so that it doesn't drop out of our addition. So this problem would be y to the two plus a negative five plus one power. Well, two plus a negative five, two minus five would be negative three plus one. So that comes out to be a negative two, putting all those together. And then again, we have to put this as one over y to that positive power. So one over y squared. So that is how to multiply uh, exponents when some of them are negative.